we're talking about maintenance now. Talking about maintenance. So we go into our menu. Maintenance. So I guess we'll start here. So the nozzle check is something that's important to do periodically to make sure that everything is printing correctly. What do you mean, how often is periodically? I mean, best case scenario before you print, because you don't want to find out after your print that um, okay. it's not working right. Maybe, um, the, maybe the front front end of a big production run, you do run a nozzle check first. Correct. I typically, I would tape that down, but let's see if we can. So we just keep pressing enter, press pound to print pattern. Okay, so we'll see if I, my paper moves. Press start key. So this is our nozzle test. Okay. So looks good. We're not missing any. Typically you would see a gap somewhere. If the color's low? If you were, well, or if you were, if, if it needs, if the head needs to be cleaned, it's clogged. You know, one or two, you know, a couple missing from one of any one of these isn't a big deal. More than I would say four for one, any one color, you want to do a cleaning before you print. All right, so now we're going to go to head cleaning. Now, it's important too that that, the maintenance menu won't show some of these things if you don't have a cartridge in the So we go to head cleaning, we do all heads, press pound to clean heads. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need this cleaning cartridge. Cleaning fluid. So this is the cleaning cartridge. Here's our cleaning fluid. Cleaning fluid. Cleaning pads. Pipette. Cleaning swab. I have surgery. <laughs> gloves. Safety glasses. Okay, so it is. So the first part of the head cleaning it does automatically, I guess. Yeah, that's automatic. Head flushing, we don't want to do. Head position, we don't need to do. Registration. Clean maintenance unit. So the idea behind the cleaning on both this machine and this machine is these heads park over what's called a cap top. It is right in here. Okay. See, he's got, there's a rubber gasket. So these cap tops and this wiper are what help maintain the ink uh, in that head. Okay. When it parks over there, that cap top presses up against the head and seals it so that air doesn't um, dry it out. Okay. Okay. So what we have to do here is clean around those cap tops and that wiper. And uh, just for the camera, this is the wiper. Wiper. The wiper is the black thing? Yes. And these are the cap tops. So there's just here. two cap tops. Correct. If that's, okay. Yeah. Should be two and each one has two channels. So you have a black yellow and then a blue magenta. So we're doing when clean, take our BT cleaning fluid. Dip, I don't really want it dripping. You do not? No, okay. it'll discolor plastic pretty good if you get it in, on anything. And then we're just gonna take it and clean the tops of these. Now, if you got stuff on the side, is that okay? Yeah. I mean, you want to get as much off as you can, but the top is the part that seals to the head. So that's that's what you really want clean. And then go ahead and wipe this wiper. So does that matter that you made a mess on the side? I mean, if you really want to get in there. You get a second one. And get a second one. So a dry one. You want me to do it for you? Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah, so yeah you can kind of clean kind of up that fluid because it's still wet from the cleaning fluid, so it's a good opportunity to kind of really get the get as much up as you can. So this is your maintenance guide. There's more details about this in the um, the user's guide, but this is what we just went through. Show me the front of that, Rob, for the camera. BT12 maintenance guide. There's also a digital version on the desktop. Okay. And then when we talked about cleaning the printhead nozzles. This is what we're going to do next. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're cleaning the print head nozzles. All right, so we're gonna press the menu key again. All right, and then we're gonna go down to maintenance. And we're gonna go to 
auto head maintenance. Press down and start. You hit the start button. The no, I hit pound. It said pound. Uh, it, yeah, because see, it okay. says pound, but it's actually okay. acting as a filter. So remove tray. I think a lot of this is detailed right here. So remove the tray. Now what we need to do is set up the maintenance unit. This is some of that. Two pads. We want to saturate these pads. Okay, that is all detailed. Page seven. Page seven. Okay, once that's done, we set that in the machine. It sits in kind of like the like the tray in this little this little gap. Clicks in. Once that's set, press the start key. Registration thing. So I mean, it's it's a pretty good online video that she goes through pretty much everything. Um, I don't know if she does maintenance. But that's a good one.